Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I want to share with you a new YouTube series idea that I've had for a long time. I've actually started this series a couple of times, I've had my doubt, gone back and forth as we do, um, and I realized that it's really about time that I just make this a series and really go for it because I feel like I have so many conversations and so many little things that I kind of reflect on and that I like to put together and I've been doing it for a long time on my Instagram posts. I've been sharing some gems and learnings that I've picked up along the way and um, I really have been doing this on Instagram for quite some time. If you see on my Instagram I actually kind of post some sort of reason post um, on my blog originally, Escape for Reason, I have a reason section where I post things about things that I'm thinking about, things that I've experienced, um, sort of learnings and things that I've put together in my head and reflected on and introspected on and then kind of share it as a blurb um, in a way like a journal. So. Um, I've been doing this for quite some time on Instagram as I mentioned and I tend to post that every ninth post is something like this. And I've been meaning to start a little hashtag, my own hashtag on Instagram which is called EFR Wednesday Wisdom. Um, and I shared it yesterday on my post and I just wanted to basically kind of elaborate a little bit, share it on my YouTube channel, um, have it sort of be a series where every Wednesday you can look forward to this content that I'm going to share. Um, it's meant to be a sort of upliftment, a sort of motivation that I really feel I have conversations like this in person all the time. Um, and my redemptive gift is definitely encouragement and I feel like I want to share that encouragement with people that I meet on YouTube. So it's going to be, I know it's going to be a little bit more awkward, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to talk about um, than my usual like hair care tips, hair tutorials or fashion tutorials because this is really coming more from the heart and just reshare what I have put onto my Instagram. I usually just regram like posts that resonate with me from other Instagram accounts that I follow um, and then just talk about something that uh, has struck me or that resonates with me in my posts um, that I elaborate in through a personal lived experience um, and story. So this one is by Mother Hustle Academy. Um, it says, sometimes what is meant for you can't find you simply because you aren't being yourself. Um, and this struck me because it also goes back to a post that I shared not too long ago as well. Um, you know, that every ninth post, um, one of them was called, one of them went by, no one is you and that is your power. Um, and I think we've heard it so many times, right? We hear it over and over again, but I, I really sometimes think it's easy to say and we always look for that you know acceptance and validation from other people we place that value on other people sometimes we place the value or perceived value of other people higher than the value we think about for ourselves or the value that we have for ourselves i think very few of us actually look inward into what that value is. Um, who am I? You know, learning about who you really are and what that actually means because you're not going to live your purpose unless you figure that out. How many of us actually realize that we have something special to offer um, and actually realize what the value of that is? And I think too many of us are missing out on the gems that we have um, and taking them for granted. So in my personal story, I saw that the moment I stopped denying who I was, denying or suppressing, I think we all kind of do that when we want to be accepted and valued by other people. I think, you know, the corporate or work system kind of values us being the same. So you're competing to be the same as the next person. I think we try to be more of the same and that is how we end up losing each other that you might find yourself working or being around people that you don't actually know because you're not being yourself and they're appreciating you for someone that you actually aren't 
Um, and the moment I stopped suppressing who I was and showing up more as myself, and I found that the moment I stopped suppressing or denying who I was is the moment I started attracting my people and my community and really having real friends, fewer friends, but more real friends because those are the people who really resonated me and appreciated me for all my awkward and weird. I am proficient in awkward. Um, and the people that really love me and the people that I really found to be close to me and, and appreciated me really loved me for who I really um, was. And also, I also started attracting more of the work, more of the community and more of the kind of work that I liked. So when I started being honest about what I really liked, the kind of stuff I wanted to do um, in my professional and personal life, that's when I started attracting a lot more people. So I started my blog in March 2015. I can't believe it has been four years. Um, I've been doing what I love without getting paid for it, without um, much reward for it, um, just personal reward um, and the excitement of being a creative and being able to have this creative outlet where I push the content I want, I can make up things, I can do whatever I want. Now with Instagram you can do that all the time but on a blog um, that I started that I was afraid to start because of what people would think, I was so crippled by that fear that it stopped me from doing my blog for much longer than I originally had the idea. And when I finally started um, away from everyone when I was in Korea, I really felt such freedom and such power from being able to do what I really loved and I was too far away from people who didn't matter and people who would have all the opinions about what I'm doing and are you crazy, like this is so weird, you're putting yourself on the internet um, like I am now. Um, so it was, it was just a beautiful realization and I realized that I was moving further away from the opinions of people who were holding me back and closer to what I wanted to be. The more That was the first step of taking the leap of faith into living my purpose and being more of who I am um, and bringing that out and celebrating that. Um, the more the blessings and the grace and the open doors came and, and the favor followed um, because I was ready to take that leap of faith um, into my purpose and my purpose is certainly not to be a fashion blogger or to be any kind of blogger. My purpose is to encourage and for me um, fashion comes easily to me, I enjoy being creative, never mind fashion, creativity comes easily to me and I wanted to be able to celebrate that and show people in a practical sense how that could come together and I think that's what my channel is all about, that's what my blog is all about, is create how to use these creative elements and practically implement them in into your life. So in my post I say I've honestly been called crazy more times than I can count. Um, when I thought of starting the series and posting something like this, I thought I was crazy. Um, you know, every time you try something new, it's going to be a risk and it's going to be hard and nerve wracking and you're going to think, flip, who is going to watch this that I actually would rather not know? I just cringe with um, fear and just shyness um, and thinking, you know, what are you really thinking about? what I have created because when you create it comes from the inside and it's the truth is I was talking about it with someone the other day the truth is that it's like you're you're holding your heart in your hand outside of your body and saying and asking the world to love it and to appreciate it and to enjoy it um, but I think you can practice with smaller things you can practice being courageous with smaller things and one thing at a time. So four years ago, it was starting a blog. Someone just yesterday asked me, how can they start a blog? What are the steps? And, you know, I think thing that I have said before and I, one of the captions I really love on Instagram that I found or on social media is a year from now, you'll have wish you started today. And that is how I start to make my choices one by one um, with things that have been put in your heart. Um, so I really feel that the things we, who we really are and living our purpose and, and really being yourself um, have to do with the things that are already 
inside your heart, those things that you do that bring you immense joy and excitement. Um, for me, as I've said, creativity is one of them. But what we really are, um, the things that constitute who we really are, are already inside. Um, that they just need to be drawn out and brought out. So, you know, I think that um, I'm, you know, just to share a bit of my story, this is getting much longer than I intended. I really wanted it to be authentic um, storytelling for Wednesday Wisdom um, and just to really tell a bit of a story because I think there's so much power in a story and I think it can really encourage other people who um, who want to be somewhere and get closer to their purpose and living their dreams and living the life that they've always dreamed of for themselves and frankly do what makes them truly happy. As I said, I've honestly been called crazy more times than I can count because I originally studied engineering, did my undergraduate in civil engineering, I did my honours in industrial engineering um, and I think that's a story for another time but I have changed directions so many times even after doing an honours in industrial engineering and getting a distinction for it. I did really well, I finished cum laude and I you know, had every reason to go straight into the industry and be like, I can do this, you know, let's dominate and go straight into like a specialized section of industrial engineering. But I chose to go into management consulting instead, which is completely different. But all along, I know that there are certain tools that I want to get. Um, and I make my decisions according to that. Who do I want to be in the long term? And who do I, what do I need to do today to be that person? Um, constantly um, reinventing myself and carving out my own future and my own story. But there's a golden thread in all the choices that I make. And I think that that's quite an important thing. Um, that's quite an important thing, but it starts with choice. And I have used every single one of my choices to move closer to who I want to be, the woman of my dreams, right? Um, and I think that a lot of the times what holds us back is, is not this big beautiful picture but it's the fear of are we gonna really make it? And I can tell you that I have that fear all the time. Um, I have it right now I can start um, so perhaps is that big beautiful picture and what is holding us back you can answer this question for yourself is what is holding you back um, what is stopping you from being the woman or man of your dreams yeah and I think my fear is I maybe made a mistake um, fear of failure fear of mistakes is a huge thing for holding us back um, and but my next question is I think everyone feels that fear. Um, feel that fear, but do it anyway. And what are you choosing to do instead of believing that fear and that fear of and that limiting mindset? So, in in the end, I wrote um, the truth is that you're going to have to keep working, and you're going to have to keep deciding. Um, it always starts with a choice. My friend always says that you're always one choice away from a different life and you're gonna have to make that choice sometimes every day sometimes more than once a day um, and you're gonna have to keep making it over and over again to live your purpose um, I don't know if you have seen that Nike ad um, with Serena Williams about women being crazy and how many times we get called crazy and how we've achieved the impossible throughout the ages because we have honestly not listened to um, those voices of fear and those voices of failure and limiting mindset and just achieved it no matter what just done it um, so yeah just show them what crazy can do um, show them what crazy can do show them what you can do and don't forget to believe in you so yeah, I hope that this encouraged someone today. I hope it increased your faith in the possible and your faith in what you could possibly do and achieve um, with some things. I mean, it's totally random it's, and totally my own story and anecdotal evidence of things I've experienced, but I really hope it encourages someone today. Um, that's the point of my hashtag EFR 
Wednesday Wisdom um, series that I plan to post every Wednesday. Um, I'm trying to make that commitment to you. Um, yeah, and I hope that you can promise yourself that you love everything about your life and everything that you don't love, you know that you have the power to change. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, this is a little bit of a test run, a pilot phase, um, but I really have felt like this is something that I wanted to share in all honesty and I've stopped and started this many times. So let this be real encouragement to you um, that it's something I just really felt I needed to share and I hope it encouraged you and empowered you today to make a choice differently and to choose that abundance and faith over all of the fear and all of the scary. Please let me know in the comment box if you found this video helpful, what other things you would like to hear. Please show me some love. It is my first video of its kind on my YouTube channel and it is really scary. So I am proving it to myself that I can do scary things as well um, and keep doing them. And um, please follow me. Make sure to follow me on all my platforms. I am Escape for Reason on all platforms. Um, I would love to hear from you. Please comment and engage with me on this topic um, and what you found useful, what your favorite line was, um, something that you've learned on this topic. So you can kind of get a sneak peek of what I am probably going to talk about soon coming on Wednesday Wisdom in these little captions on my Instagram. So again, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that you have a wonderful purpose-fueled day and thank you for watching and supporting. All the best. Bye.